This is the Dan C. Bearded YouTube channel, and I am the mayor. Short beard guys, new beard guys, stick around. Big beard guys, hang out. Maybe in the comments you can uh, provide a, a little bit of a piece of information for our young growers as this series is growing as well. Today's video is going to be about my morning routine because you do absolutely need to establish a routine when you're growing a beard. My dad, he's not so good about that. He'll do oil three times a day, then he'll skip three days. And that's probably one of the reasons that my mom is not real convinced about the, the overall longevity of my dad with a beard. He's kind of hod, hodgepodge, hit or miss, and that's okay, that's his thing. But for many of us, a routine is where we grow, where we get strength, and where we get confidence in our beard. Incidentally, this video series is sponsored by Aberlite. This here is the Aberlite Pro. I am still not at the point where I'm able to use this, but I have used this for the last couple of years with my full big beard. This is called a heated brush, and what it does essentially is, as you can see kind of with my chin, I get some weird patterns as my, my beard grows out, and I like to wear it about here, and I will always get dents and dips and things like that in there. The only thing that it ever has really proven, even beyond the blow dryer for that area to get it out, is this Aberlite Pro heated brush. I'll spray a little bit of water, turn it on to whatever selection. I usually do about 340 degrees, and then I brush that dent away by going left, right, up, and down, and typically finishing off my whole beard routine. Um, you guys have to establish a beard routine if you're going to get serious about this, this whole deal. Even at this length, you need a routine, you need a care routine, you need to make sure you're doing certain things each day. Let's talk about my morning routine and what I do. Typically, I'll begin in the shower or bath with a good wash. And what I do is I use about a dime-sized amount. Obviously, the beard is damp. Apply it in like I do for head hair, and then I rinse it out. Remember, a good wash is going to remove the oil, the dirt, the buildup from the skin, and, and that's just as important as anything to do with your actual beard hair. Why should you use something called a beard wash rather than like a shampoo or a soap? You can use a pine tar soap once in a while. It's what we call a stripping wash, which kind of removes all the, all, the, all the good things and the bad things that you're putting into your beard. But typically, a beard wash is always going to be your best bet. It's pH balanced, which means it's going to be chemically really, really soothing, better for your skin on your face, which is different than the skin on your hair. Uh, the, your scalp and also different than the rest of your body. So I do highly recommend that you find a beard wash that you enjoy using daily or every other day, depending on how, how much buildup you have. Less washing is good. You don't want to do that every day if you don't have to, but if you're in a dirty job and you need to and you're getting gross things in your beard every day, feel free to use that wash uh, daily if you need to. After I wash, my next step is applying oil. I get out of the shower and I use just a little bit right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a top hat from Beard Octane. Happens to be my collaboration set with them. And I will run it through my fingers and then I just apply it to the beard. And I never forget the mustache. We see that a lot on Beard Advice Live. Guys will complain. They'll say, I don't know what to do with my mustache. It's scratchy, it's itchy. A lot of times we just kind of neglect to remember to apply all of our products to there. So I let that oil go in and I'm shooting a video so I'm not going to let it sit as long as I would normally do. But typically five minutes of letting it sit is a good idea. I prefer then to have a comb to kind of spread out the oil throughout my hair. This is an air ba uh, a bag brush. You can use whatever you want. But I like to brush that in, that oil in typically just to apply it to as many places as possible to have it evenly spread out. You can definitely overuse oil and what you're going to see is probably breakouts and you're just going to, you're, 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 even though you have a short beard, you're going to get too much glossiness, too much glistening. That typically is an indicator that you've over applied oil and back off a little bit, but you definitely want to keep applying that oil, keep that skin nourished, keep everything going correctly in the direction of that big, amazing beard that you're trying to get. My final step that I'm doing right now is this boar's hair bristle brush. I use that to 
kind of exfoliate the skin afterwards. It's kind of a final uh, ability to spread that oil if it needs to be. And it just feels good, especially on my underbeard where I get the most itch. That's also going to be the place that you want the most oil spread out. The boar's hair brush, there's nothing like it. And it is also kind of like a little reward or treat for doing an amazing job with your beard care routine. So that's kind of my morning routine right now. Once my beard gets longer, I'm going to add in blow drying and that heated brush that we talked about earlier from Aberlay. All of those things combine to my full beard when I get there routine. Right now, my morning routine is those, those basic steps. And like I said, I'll add the heat treatments later as I'm starting to see more waves, dips, dents in my beard. Thank you so much for being along this beard journey with me. It was tough at the beginning. I did not like seeing that bald face, but it's coming back, it's growing back. Hopefully you're growing with me. Maybe you're just checking in to see what a routine is. You definitely wanna establish a routine. In the comments, what is your routine? Big beard guys, basically tell us what you're doing. Is there anything differently? New beard guys, maybe you have a question about a step, go ahead and leave those in the comments and Dan and I will go through and we'll be happy to answer and help. Stay bearded and stay positive.